Hey guys, what's going on? You're watching Woozy BMX, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to smith. The smith is a really fun beginner level grind trick. You start with a smith and then you branch off and you can throw in a ton of variations and it's a really essential trick to learn and most of all, it's fun. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is very windy today. If this is your first time here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and if you like what you see today, head to the description and subscribe to my personal channel. Without further ado, let's get into the how-to. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the angle at which you approach the ledge. For learning the trick, it's acceptable to approach the ledge at any angle that you want, but my ideal setup for learning this would be a ledge is about a foot high and you'd be going straight at it. If you go at too much of an angle either or, you're just gonna kinda slip off and the key to this trick is to go parallel with the box, hop on and keep that front wheel locked in going parallel with the angle iron or the rail, whichever you decide to learn this on. So let me do a quick smith right now and then I'm gonna kinda run you through exactly what I did. So like I said, we have a foot high grind box right here, which is ideal to learn it on. A rail is a little bit more difficult, but it's not impossible. I approached the ledge at a medium speed. I was parallel with the angle iron. I just did a slight hop and over motion. So it's just like a normal bunny hop, J hop, whatever. The normal hopping motion, it's just kind of a shift. So once you're over the box, you're gonna kind of lock in your front wheel. Your back tire is gonna be on the ledge, but your front wheel is gonna be on the peg. But you're gonna wanna say straight as possible. Keep your back wheel fairly close to the edge of the coping, because if, if your back wheel is too far out, then you're just gonna kind of slip off, and it's gonna be harder to lock in. So try to keep your bike as straight as possible, and definitely keep your front wheel parallel to the grind ledge. Let me show you how to practice hopping on. So for hopping on, all you gotta do is just learn this flat. It's a simple bunny hop motion, but instead of pulling straight up, you're pulling out to the side. Might take a few tries to get used to it because at first you may start rotating, but it's not a rotating motion, it's a hop over motion. I'll show you what I mean. Here's rotating first. You don't wanna do that because then your back wheel is gonna be way too far over and you're just gonna be not aligned properly. Here's the difference, here's what you wanna do. You wanna hop over. A really good way to practice this is set a small object on the ground and then hop over it while still going straight. I'll show you what I mean. You can use a garden hose. You can use anything. You can use a plank of wood, a garden hose, but for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and hop over this, but you'll see what I mean. Oh. So as you can see, I'm hopping over the box while still riding straight. I'm not doing a 180 or a 90 over the box. I'm going straight as possible with it. And that's the motion you're gonna take when hopping onto the box. So that's just kind of a little hack to get used to that awkward hop over stage. So now, now that you know how to hop onto it, let's get into the actual smith. Now for this one, I'm gonna do this voiceover style because there's really no great way to, uh, to film this. So I'm gonna do a smith, slow-mo it and voice over it. So you're going to approach it at medium speed, do that hop over motion, scoop that back end over, lock that front wheel in, keep it parallel with the ledge or the rail, whatever you're doing it on, and just a nice easy opposite hop out of it. So as you can see there, I went in a medium pace, I did the hop over motion, and I'm just gonna swing my back end slightly over. It's really not gonna be that much of a motion, but just kind of swing your back end over. Don't rotate, but swing it over, and mainly focus on keeping your front peg parallel to the grind ledge. So I went on, I hopped over, just kind of scoop your back end slightly. You're not even really gonna play with it that much because it's such a slight motion. It's maybe like five degrees. Just focus on getting your front peg where it needs to be. Lock in by just keeping your balance. It's just like a manual or any other grind. You're gonna have to get your balance point, but luckily it's not that hard because your peg is flat and so is the ledge. So they'll make contact and once you're locked in, you're locked in. And then to hop off, simply all you do is just the opposite hop over motion. So you hop on to the left and then you go off to the right and vice versa depending on which side you grind on. The Smith itself is actually a fairly simple learn. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run you guys through some kind of simple variations to harder tricks. I'm gonna show you guys some fun little things to do with the Smith to kind of spice it up a little bit and improve your control and confidence with it. I really apologize for all the wind noise. It's just, it's, it's insane. First, we're gonna talk about a nose into a Smith and then a nose out. Two pretty simple maneuvers and it's just a fun way to make a smith look cooler and feel cool. Then we're gonna talk about the smith to bar. Now these are more advanced, and if you're looking up a how to smith, you're probably not to smith bars or smith hards yet, but just keep these in mind, and as you're getting better and progressing, you'll just always have these in the back of your mind. Then we've got a smith hard 180 and a smith easy 180, and unfortunately both of those tricks, I'm, I can't really do on a foot high ledge, so I won't be able to get that for you. So let's start with this nose smith nose out. All you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of approach in front of the ledge, instead of being to the side and hopping over on top of, you're gonna kind of be at the same distance but straight on so you're gonna hop up over the ledge and do the same motion so you're gonna hop over and then just simply 
kind of drag your front wheel. So it's like you're just bunny hopping over it, but you're gonna just let your front wheel roll and it's gonna create a, 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 a nose manual look. It is so windy. It's going to create kind of a nose manual, nose bonk type look and drop into the Smith. It's pretty simple. And then on the way out, once you go into it, you're locked into the Smith and basically you're gonna do the same thing out. This is a little bit harder than doing it in but you're just gonna pop up. And instead of popping out, you're gonna pop up and over and just suck your back end up and just do a little nose bonk, nose manual out. So let's run through it one more time. Medium speed. You're gonna ride parallel up to it. You're gonna do the hop over, not a rotate, not either way. You're gonna hop over, scoop your back end over, land, keep your front wheel parallel so that way, if you turn too much this way, you're gonna go like that. And the opposite, you'll just slide off. So you're locked in, locked in, locked in, and then just a nice, easy bunny hop out. Medium speed, hop over, swing that back in, keep an eye on that front wheel, lock it in, keep it parallel, slide, 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 and then just a nice, easy hop out. Roll. Hop over, scoop that back in, lock the front wheel, and then just a nice, easy hop out. All right, guys, I hope the video wasn't too terribly windy, and I hope you took something away from this. Anyway, this has been the How to Smith. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, peace out.